Be careful not to cross my gaze. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Wow, that dude's gonna be trouble, man. There's like nothing I can do against that. Ooh. I'll do it. Faith without deeds is worthless. I don't have a. The only sniper I have is Ko, oh, really, but I mean, even he's not set up to handle that far away. Let's make some opportunities. I'll see to it personally. Who, <laughs> if not me? Hey, Nettie, good morning. Just for the week. You missed a 95 girl. As the Emperor commands, I act. Man, this is this is bad. Yeah, this ain't this ain't great. For the throne's glory. But of course, Lord Captain. I need a foothold. Let's see to it. I won't object. Ah! Explore to so one route. Forward. Now you're this is way too far for him, right? Way too far. there all right Abelard does this work on charge at your back and call maybe victory is imminent <laughs> sure it will be done my boy Abelard's gonna get shredded next turn, chat. I will do my duty. Oh god, what are you doing? Oh no. Oh! My heart. Ow! Heart. I'll do it. My girl. Get him. This is unacceptable. This might be the death of Cassia. Emperor, give me strength. But I gotta try something. If I may. <clears throat> okay, okay, this is actually great. We've got him in a much better position. I'm not accustomed to being ordered. She's probably around. gonna die, but that's okay. Um, we might be able to get you. Me. 
If you can insist, you shoot Lord him Captain. Him? Can you shoot him? Yeah. <laughs> All right, dude. All right. We're back in this. Cassie is probably going to die. Yeah, but, you know, it happens. Um, we got a 70% with Co here. I cast this on myself. Um, what's our what's our one chance? They never stood a chance. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Um, let's get it on it. We're gonna spend this buffing instead of taking the extra turn. Ooh, we got a heroic act up. It's as good as done. He's already used his right. Let's see to it. Naturally. I think I'm going to try to use Argentas. Let's use this to reduce the damage and increase ours. We're going to move you next to him. But instead of attacking, we're going to try to keep you alive. Pascal, do I want to use a debilitating shot? Uh, minus 30% penalty to dodge and to armor. He also has some other bonuses on that too. So, the, yeah, this 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 might be something we want to do. So he gets reducing their armor even more. Oh, I guess that's the other enemies. And then the target can't move. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. We have fifty-six percent chance. Wait, that can't be right. Let's do all this first. The scriptural prognosis is favorable. Approved. Running by Derek Override. Okay. Well, the second attack always hits. Okay. I must of so here's the first hit. What? Oh my god, did he just do a melee attack? No, 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 no. No, he did a ton of damage. 29 energy, 29 energy. Oh, wow. That was actually a ton of damage. Okay. Yeah, that was that was great. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, it was 60 damage he just dealt with that, which I don't think we would have done much better with anything. What? Okay. Oh, he just blew that ship. Bro. Bro. <laughs> These guys are so rude. Um. Oh, jeez. Uh. Faith without deeds is worthless. Strike is a prayer. How much HP do you have? Well, these are commanders. Doubt is for the weak. That is not the Emperor's will. <laughs> As the Emperor commands, I act. Oh man. Oh man. me. Oh, that's bad. That means bears. Uh, okay, do this. I am a As demands. You want to see it? 
If I may, another foe painted very nice here. I'm not accustomed as and to task is amazing. <laughs> okay. There we go. Fantastic. Good talk. Um I'll make it happen. Do that. You need a reapplication of your main. You don't. Not yet, at least. Give you an extra AP. I'll see to it personally. And I think you can. I think you can fire at him from here. Oh, we should probably take care of this guy. I'll make it happen. I'll do it. Play it safe and take care of him. like to, but I don't. Okay. Let's see to it. But of course, Lord Captain. Get me a target. Yeah, we're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this. Right, here we go. Let's see to it. Here we go, Chad. Here we go. We're doing it. I'll see our foes. I won't object. Your reckoning is due. Yes! Oh, what a fight, dude. That was awesome. What a fight. I hail the Omni uh, Omnissiah for manifesting the Are statistical miracle and clapping? invalidating... An unfavorable tactical prognosis. That fight was awesome, dude. That fight just felt great. Whenever the wear deals damage to an enemy, the wear has a 25% chance to gain to MP. Oh, we, I think we have those. Those are good. Those are great boots. We can... And we got next level! We get to see our first subclasses. Oh, man. Giant wins all around. Open. Fantastic. Please give me some power armor. Oh. A heavy bolter, though. Life-draining swords for heretics. Oh, yeah. Bunch of heretic stuff. Bunch of heretic stuff. What is a heavy bolter? What do you do? Oh. What? You have to be heretical to use a heavy bolter? No. Rate of fire, eight? And I can double that? Do you even hold that many ammo? You have 96 ammo. What is going on? Oh, strength 60. Oh no. You gotta get her strength up or something. I I have Let so us many not questions. Dawdle. Yeah, I have so many questions right now. So many questions. Alright. Rebel sniper rifle. Hold up. Hold up. That, where's that rebel sniper rifle? What do I do with it? You're right around here somewhere. Is it red? No. Ah. Um. I'm using the long lass. The rebel sniper rifle has less range, less hit chance, more damage. A lot less dodge reduction. The long last just oh, and, and a little bit more armor pen. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I think I think I might put this as my. I think I might put this as this. Like if if they're in range, then I think I'd prefer to use this. I think I'll put this uh, here instead of the arc rifle. Yeah. So if they're if they're closer. And I have the good hit chance, I'd probably want to use this. But if they're further, then I want to use this. Cool. Okay. Great. Great. Okay. Anything else to loot? I don't think so. 
Let's go look up here real quick. Just make sure there's nothing up here. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. And then we have some super cool levels to get here. These next levels are big. Let's do a hard save now. Oh, we, we always do a hard save on levels, so. Mm -hmm. Always hard save whenever you level your characters in games like this. That is a, a Keep bit your of wits a tip about that you. I learned too late, but I so strongly recommend. And that goes for Baldur's, any CRPG, any CRPG. Just do a hard save whenever you level. Not only is it good to have a bunch of hard saves, but then if you is mistake to anything be made? during the leveling process or if anything goes wrong, you have a nice mark. Okay. Here we go. Oh, okay, so Ko is going to be a master tactician. As a master tactician, he's going to get tactical advantage, plus one stack of tactical advantage for every five momentum gained by the master technician or their allies. The master tactician begins combat with the amount of tactical advantage stacks equal to their fell bonus. So we will start with six tactical advantage stacks. The master tactician empowers their next attack to deal four additional damage for every stack of tactical advantage and loses half of them. So we immediately can do a 25% extra damage, but we're going to keep getting stacks as we gain turns. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Great. Mr. Pascal is going to become a bounty hunter. Hunt down the prey. The bounty hunter may mark any enemy in combat as prey. Whenever the bounty hunter kills a target marked as prey, they gain a stackable bonus until the end of combat. The bonus depends on the enemy difficulty tier. So if it's a low tier enemy, then 25% of the max wounds go to temporary wounds. Interesting. If it's a three to four, whoa, five times praise difficulty tier percent crit damage and two X praise difficulty tier crit chance. Okay. And then if it's five to six, both of the above, oh, damn. The, oh, and they can only, but they can only do that three times for combat, so we can't just, like, farm low-tier enemies. Does that cost anything? Does it cost an AP to mark a target? Huh. That's cool. Okay. That's cool. Um, before we do this, though, let's kind of take a little look. I want to I want to see what the other ones are because I've never looked at these. Assassin. The assassin sees a single opening for each enemy on one of the enemy's sides. Whenever the assassin hits an opening, they deal an additional 10% of target's max wound damage. After the attack, the openings move to the opposite side of the enemy. Oh, this is this is for a melee class. This is not for a ranged class at all. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Heinrich, are you going to be an assassin? Because that'd be cool. Assassin! Okay, so he's going to be an assassin. Badass. All right. Our boy Abelard is going to become a vanguard. Unyielding beacon. Each attack against the vanguard grants them a plus one stack of unyielding beacon. Each stack increases their resolve by plus one up to a maximum of 15. All allies in a two cell radius around the vanguard gain half that bonus. Temporary wounds applied to the vanguard now stack. Oh, all of a sudden that other ability that I was I didn't take <laughs> makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Okay, whoops. At the start of their turn, the remaining temporary wounds are reduced by the largest amount granted by one applied effect. Okay. 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 Well, I think we can still we can still get that in somehow. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, whoops. Well, we may we may we may respect him, but we'll see. We may be again, we may be able to 
may be able to get that in at some point down the road. We'll see. We'll see. Because yeah, that might be actually that might be actually huge. You wasted it on three extra charge radius. I mean, it's still don't get me wrong. I still use charge all the time. I still love the radius. So I mean, I want both. I want both. I still really, really like him being able to position better. So I mean, that has kind of a like that kind of is you know I'm still I'm still fine with my decision. Yep. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Oh, what is the arch militant? Somebody asked. Is this what she's going? Oh yeah, she's going Arch Militant. Okay. Whenever the Arch Militant uses an attack that is of a different type from their previous attack, they gain a stack of versatility. The type of attack can be single shot, single melee shot, area melee attack, area shot, or burst. They gain plus five weapon skill and ballistic skill for every stack of versatility. If they have four or more stacks, they deal additional damage of weapon uh, skill or ES bonus divided by two damage, whichever size. Okay. <clears throat> so what's great about this is because of her running gun skill, pretty much always using a single shot, or we can with that, then we absolutely will be bouncing back and forth between burst and single shot. That's that's easy to do. Will, will we ever get more than one attack per turn? Do we ever do we ever get more than one attack per turn in this game or is it always one attack per turn outside of ability adjustment of course no okay is that gary or siri behind code that's siri chan hi siri Boop. little boot snoop there cool oh this is gonna be fun oh you just gain more ap oh dude we have, we're gonna have so much fun with this class Okay, and finally, and this one's interesting. This one we, we're gonna have, okay. This one is Grand Strategist. This is wild. Okay, here we go. The Grand Strategist analyzes the battlefield and can create specific areas providing bonuses to all allies, including the Grand Strategist, frontline, backline, and rear. In the first turn, all three areas can be created. In the following turn, only one of them can be created. All areas can be moved with the corresponding abilities and cannot overlap. If there are two or more Grand Strategists in the party, the combat tactics areas are common for all the Grand strat uh, Strategists. And the highest in bonus and fellowship bonus of all of them are used. There cannot be more than one frontline, backline, or rear on the battlefield. Regardless of the abilities used, the Grand Strategist always acts first in combat. Now, I have no idea what those bonuses do. So we're going to have to play with that. Okay. Cool. How freaking fun. All right. Let's go. Can you show Cassie a space on the inventory screen after you've leveled her? She's bug-eyed on my game, and it's pretty funny. Bug eyed. Sounds more fun. <clears throat> Thanks be to the Emperor, you are alive, your Lordship. We are most gratified by your return, and the crew is full of zeal to carry out any orders you may have. I will hear an account of what happened to the system's son. Lord Captain, we saw a number of ships approach the sun, black creations of inhuman make, amalgams of ship angles and edges. They surrounded the star, and then, my apologies, but I struggled to find the words that could describe that terrible sight. The Xenos made the sun vanish into the void. Drupari. You see Abelard's expression change as if a shadow has suddenly fallen over him. He rubs his temples wearily, as if we didn't have enough troubles on our hands. The Xenos, enemies of humanity? <clears throat> a breed of the Eldari, the most cruel and devious of their kind. The design, the design of their ships matches the descriptions provided by the Boxmaster. Like all Xenos, Dukari are a blight on the face of the galaxy, but their technological superiority is indisputable. They abhor and fear warped sorcery, 
which is why they rely on creations of their twisted intellect. And many of those creations are capable of things that may seem akin to sorcery to the unenlightened eye. The theft of a son is one example of what they're capable of. They're in league with the cultists? <clears throat> we can rule out that possibility. The Dukari would never ally themselves with the arch enemy's worshippers. If I had to name one thing that humanity and the Xenos have in common, it would be their shared loathing for warp corruption. Interesting. The situation calls for immediate action, Co. We can continue this conversation later if you wish, but right now I believe you should assume command. What's the current situation on board? The navigator sanctum is no longer empty, but the warp engines are still refusing to obey the engine seer. Without it, we cannot perform a warp jump. Pascal's voice buzzes anxiously from his vox. It may be angry, or perhaps it is lamenting the injuries it has suffered. I will immediately initiate preparations for a prayer service. If the Omnisai grants me comprehension, I will appease the machine spirit of this vessel. Why do you not send a shuttle? I do apologize, but we were unable to receive your request for evac evacuation. The Voxlink was overrun with file interference. <coughs> Several dozen operators went mad, monitoring the Vox casters in the hope of hearing your voice. Each one of them waited in vain. What's happening on the planet now? Our auger operators are reporting numerous uprisings and other manifestations of the arch enemy's power at various locations on the planet. Based on the fragments of communication picked up by our Vox operators, there is practically no resistance being offered by the governor's forces. Millions of people are converting to the blasphemous final dawn cult in mass. Do you have any hope of retaking it? It's lost and we must leave the system as soon as possible. There are still people on the planet who have not succumbed to the heresy who are worthy of rescue. <clears throat> we must save as many as we can. This all happened for a reason. Saint Argenta, whose name I carry with reverence and trepidation, is famed for saving the people of a dying world to the power of prayer. We, got Emperor we should send thoughts and prayers, chat. We should send thoughts and prayers. The God Emperor himself sent a star from the heavens that lifted the saint and her followers up in the sky away from the corruption and death. We must do as she did, direct all our efforts to saving the people who at this moment look to the heavens in hope of salvation. Oh, this is going to be a big decision. The world is doomed and its inhabitants along with it. I once witnessed a similar event, a world that had surrendered to the servants of the arch enemy and permitted corruption to enter too deep. Our only hope of stopping this process is to retreat to a safe distance from the planet and conduct targeted bombing. If we blow up the reactor, a thermonuclear reaction will follow the world's oxygen will evaporate, killing off everyone. Oh, man. Oh, my God. We have to decide what to do. Why can we not try to get at least some of the people out? The simple reason that the transformation process will soon become irreversible and our sole weapon against it useless. Which of the planet's inhabitants can we evacuate? Okay. Thanks to you, we salvaged many shuttles from the starport we can use. I feel like we should try to save the fusion reactor. <laughs> I feel like we should... I don't, I don't know about exterminatus. But I feel like we should try to get the fusion reactor, and that might really help. Any delay caused by loading and transporting to the ship will cost us precious time. Do not deceive yourself. If you indulge your vanity, you will doom billions. Do not forget yourself, Interrogator. One more objection from you and I shall forget all the need to deliver you to footfall alive. Oh my god! You detect a flicker of something beneath Heinrich's sanguine mask. Whatever it may be, it does not seep into the Interrogator's dispassionate voice. In that case, I consider it necessary to point out that the mark of the arch enemy can infiltrate the ship with the priest escorting the reactor. Keep that in mind for the future. Have the pilots extract all the commoners. Yep, screw the nobles. <laughs> <clears throat> the bridge is in upheaval. The Technomat's prayer mixed together in a senseless cacophony while servitors work hastily to remove a hardened crust of sacred unginance from the warp engine's components. In the middle of all this tumult stands Pascal with a data slate clutched in his hand, seemingly disconnected from the flurry of activity around him. What's going on here? The warp sextant is not responding to commands. A ship spirit is rejecting our prayers in anger. I'm currently calculating a plea that might appease the noble spirit.
Magos want to use to control the Technomatch. Surely their contribution will speed things up. It would only be a hindrance. I'm searching for a way to rectify the error. Crew, heed the word of Magos uh, Hanuman. Pascal, I kindly request you take charge of this mess. Your Lordship, thank you, Lordship, you are right. Tech comrades, heed my instructions. The mayhem immediately subsides and the crew's actions fall into some indiscernible logic. The Omnisized servants start working in sync and the binary clamor becomes a symphony of reports which the Magos coordinates like a skillful conductor. Admirably done. Omnisai guides. The prayer of the tech priest surrounds the cogitator, almost drawn out the sounds of the bustling, drown out the sounds of the bustling bridge behind you. Pascal, pouring intently over the data slate, his hands extends the mechadendrite towards the priest, take place, your place at the cogitator. Step up. 